Even the birds love him, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Hi right, guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Back in the workshop here at the moment. Well, something you haven't seen probably in a while. It's the MAN Rush. Um, was Dax, bought by MAN. Sort of been hidden behind the, hidden behind the curtains for a long time actually. And this car has come into us, uh, someone who's reached out to us, MAN. I don't know, I think they're in operation so much these days. Um, we're gonna do some work on it because it's been stood for a long time. What's in here? Well exactly what it says on the tin here. It's got an M3 lump under there. Pretty, smooth. let's move out of the way here, shall we? Let's go around the other side. Pretty substantial engine. Um, we've got to get it running. It is running, but at the moment it's been set up for a long, long time, quite a few years, I do believe. As you can see, it's a bit, bit uh, dusty and worn in some of the areas, and we just need to go through the car um, and do some other bits, getting it prepped for IVA and everything else as well on, on this particular one. But yeah, something a bit different. Certainly, um, well, the Rush, Another uh, great product it was in its day and it got moved on and, and now I think it's been picked up by some other companies as well. But yeah, needs a little bit of love and that's what we're going to give it. We're going to sprinkle some of the fairy dust on here and get this M3 bad boy running. And I'm sure it's going to be extremely interesting test drive. Talking about test drives, well, do you know what? We've got one lined up for you. Let's go and see the orange, same as this, S2000. Hey, where's that gone? What have I done with it? Oh man, scratching my head. This is ridiculous. Where's the blooming car gone? Oh, gee, oh. God, that's, uh, uh, it's the problem with having camo wrapped cars. When you park it in a field or out the way, you can't find it. There it is. Well, I know it's camo wrapped, but you've probably seen this car being built on our channel. If you've been following the channel over the last few months, it's being built. We've, um, yeah, we built this for a customer. It's a Honda S2000 car. Um, there's a little bit of camo on it, a little bit of personal touches. You've obviously got the orange front wishbones. You've got the orange roll cage, which really glares out at you. You've got the orange embroidered seat on the, uh, on, on the padded seats that we've got there with a the diamond Bentley stitching. There's also uh, the pool ball gear knob again in that favoured orange colour. There's plenty of orange accents on this car. Um, I did notice as well if you look at the tyres seems the orange pen has also been at the tyres as well so uh, I think the, uh, the owner of this car is a little bit of a tangerine lover. That orange theme runs right the way through the car. If we pop the bonnet here you'll see what I mean. Underneath here we've got yet more orange. So we've got orange coolant tank, we've got orange battery holder, we've got orange rocker cover, there's even orange silicon hoses on this car. And if you look down the front here, there's a sock that goes over the reservoir and the tails on the sock are orange as well. We now I've found it, I suppose we'd we better take it out for a test drive, haven't we? Your finest VTEC engine in this little bad boy. Got a grip 
on. This is nuts. So I'm emblazoned in a cockpit full of all nice touches and gadgets. I've got the indicators on the steering wheel and the horn and the headlights. Cue the horn. I've got carbon dashboard everywhere. I've got carbon interior panels. I've even got carbon stitched uh, ear lever gator. There's carbon everywhere in this car. It's like a carbonara. We've got carbon front wheel arches. We've got carbon rear wheel arches. We've even got a carbon effect boot cover and a carbon blade aero screen. So I'm adorned with these comfortable padded seats, which I have to say, they are, they are pretty damn nice. They're, they're really, really quite good. Oh, I didn't add as well. It's got heated seats in it. been a good one for you. Right from one rush to another rush. Familiar car you may have seen it's been built over the last few years this customer has come back in finally now for its last hurrah with us to get ready for again another IVA prep as well. Obviously we know before you've seen it maybe if you've subscribed you would have known this car it's got the 1.8 uh, Audi engine in there, turbocharged. They make really good stonking horsepower. Lots of modifications. We're just setting about sorting out some of the front tweaks and bits, IVA trims, the final bits and bobs, getting the emissions done on it, etc. as well. But it used to be yellow and black, and it's all been wrapped now in this really killer blue 
got to say, quite striking. Even Anna would agree. That's a nod. Yeah, she looks pretty. Time. It's got race technology dash. It's got seven and a half inch uh, Sierra differential in the rear. Um, it's all sort of ready to roll, really. Um, the same as the other Rush that's over there. But that is different. That was a different chassis that they when they took over. This is a square two chassis, and that was a, a BMW engine derived. Uh, running gear and they did a full round tube on it etc I don't think they ever got it into production levels as well so a bit unique um, but they they run the same body style and everything else all the body components all fit as well so yeah so this is Rush Corner let's move over to Westfield Corner right Westfield Corner here we've got a couple of Westfield S2000 we're doing some work on but also this that came in from the factory it's the part built kit that when Westfield unfortunately went into liquidation never got finished we've been cracking on with that under the new bait, basically at the moment, we've been drawing up lists of all the things that were wrong that we're trying to fix now before we bolt any other component on the car. Top wishbones, we know we've got to move because they've been made, one's left and one's right, and they've got them on the one way round. You can tell by this weld, long weld here. And on this side, the long weld is on this, so they've been put round the wrong way, so we've got, to, we've got to, on here. We've got to, we've got to move those because it's got positive caster and this one's got negative caster, so yeah, some changes. Yeah, so leaks to be fixed. We've got some coolant pipe leaks. We had a little puddle down in here that we've got to do this, as you can see, this sender. Yeah, it's leaking. That's one of the things we've got a little fix. So we're gonna get we go through the car where it is at this level before we bolt on any other components onto the vehicle. Just make sure it's correctly installed, fit for purpose, and obviously IVA compatible. So yeah, but nice looking colour. Do like a grey car. Right, standing over here, cup car up in here at the moment, just going to get under axle stands. Now, um, basically, there's a bit of prep work being going on this, as you know. We like to check them over. They're a race car. They get driven extremely hard. They bounce off the limiter. Plenty of track work on it. But if you want to know more about the cup car and what its race is in, the last race of the season is at uh, Centerton, actually. Um, so it'll be the last race of the season. And of course, we're uh, green to go for next year. So if you want to get into 2023 and want to go racing, then hook us up here at MK Sports Cars or RLM Racing and speak to Rich there, who's the main driver behind this, and they can give you the information on the cars. Right, here we are over at the RX5 MC R1 car. Hello. Seen this over the last few weeks. More progress on it here. Um, well, engine is the main thing. This is all running now. Before we get into that though, new bulkhead's gone on. We've done an aluminium one on this one now um, as well. Got to do a little cover, that's a shield cover that goes over this part here. But instead of the fiberglass one, we've now started to move towards the aluminium paneling. It's nice and easy. You can unbolt it, you can access it in two parts. Battery cover has gone on as well. Um, but you know what, Cameron? Hit that start button. Oh, it's making noise. There she goes. Yeah, a little bit. Perfect. So that's perfect. She's all running now. Um, we'll go through it, make sure obviously it checks, get it up to temperatures as we would as normal, and then get it ready, do emissions, mapping on it, etc. for IVA. So we're getting close on this now, just the some of the interior parts to finish. We're doing a, a tunnel top in here, which is we, we'll finish off, but we're actually going to be putting all the padded tunnel top in here to make it a bit more cleaner, tidier. We love the little carbon tunnel tops to do. Instrumentation's in as well now. So we're using the bike clocks, the standard bike clocks from the car. Uh, these are in, got a nice, ah, don't you like 14,000 RPM? This revs to about 13,750, I do believe. So yeah, she's a stonker. So yeah, we're literally on the final stretch on this car now. So it'll be, as soon as we put the tunnel top in, seats will go in, seat belts will go in, and we can then get it on the ground on its four wheels, start doing the geo on the car. Now remembering this is an RR, so it's fully rose jointed. So we do the geo on this one. Um, set it up so it's all rose jointed, got the big brake kits on the front as well, so that's the, the Mazda brake kit, the vented discs and the wheel kit on there as well. So yeah, she's got a really nice spec car. Right, here we are with the uh, MK Indy R, we spoke to you the other week about it, um, well engine change over time really, it's got a little 919 blade engine in there. Um, what was wrong with the other one? Well it had a little bit of hole, unfortunately had a, a problem with this engine. It, little hole in the block there. So it's got a complete new engine, gone in, uh, donor engine package, we've bolted it in. She all starts, runs and goes now. Just the exhaust system to put on, she's all running. Just got to put some new firings in there because the existing ones were 
uh, a little bit worn out. So tiny little exhaust leak. So some new firings to go in there as well. But yeah, it's all good to go. Running, driving now, etc. We have test driven it. We just wanted to change these firings because these were a little bit worn out, a little bit compressed. So we've got to put some new rings in there um, just to, uh, to help and seal the exhaust system. But that's just a component part that's got to go in. But then, yeah, be ready to send back to the new owner. Right upstairs here on the mares, we are literally bolting in. Brake lines and fuel lines, pedal box, a little MK branded, very nice billet pedal box that we put in there. It's a left-hand drive car. Um, this is hashtag Chad's car. That's gonna go out to the US of E. So just a final prep stuff to do with this. Brake lines, fuel lines, say, etc. I think he's having a CBR, thousand lump he's gonna be putting in there. And when we're talking about that, let's talk about chassis production. Well, there's a few more here coming in, arriving, that's got to go out. We've just got to finish getting the kits together. We've got some that have got a standard cage on them and some that have got the FIA cage on them, some that are just a roll bar. So yeah, they're all on. And if you want to get in the queue, give us a phone call and email. And if you're in the queue already, guess what? Queue's up there for you to see where you are. Right, in this busy workshop at the moment, it's been an amazing week. Again, months are flying by. We've got Daxes, we've got Westfields. We've got MEVs, we've got MK Indies, all here. We've got the Phoenix and the Striker. If you want to come down here and see what's going on, or you want some work done on your car, we work on all the brands. So hook us up again, phone call, email, happy to help. That's it for another busy week. Don't forget, press that like, share and subscribe button. And guess what? Yes, we will. We'll catch you next week.